No chance, Buckingham Palace denies inviting Sussex family to King Charles' 75th birthday party. Traitors don't deserve. Recently, the reports claim that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's children, Archie and Lilibet, may return to Britain and reunite with his grandfather, King Charles, in November. It is believed. King Charles may reunite with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet on his 75th birthday. According to a report by Hello per Entertainment Daily, the monarch may invite his son, Prince Harry, and his family on his 75th birthday and likely reunite with Archie and Lilibet. King Charles' birthday falls on November 14th. The publication claims that like his 70th birthday in 2018, King Charles may host the royals at the palace and could invite the California-based couple with their kids as well. According to royal staff, there is no way that Buckingham Palace will invite the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to come to the celebration. It is also unclear whether Meghan would attend the birthday celebrations of her father-in-law, as she and her children remained in California back in May when Harry attended King Charles' coronation. Besides, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, have been flayed for their unforgivable stance against the royal family. Meanwhile, Meghan and Harry's explosive tell-all interview with US TV host Oprah Winfrey, which they just recorded months after quitting their royal jobs, sent shockwaves across the world. Sky News host Andrew Bolt has revealed the former chairman of Britain's Equality and Human Rights Commission, EHRC, Sir Trevor Phillips has lashed out at King Charles III's younger son Harry and his wife Meghan for pushing their dodgy claims against the royal family and the media. Phillips, according to Bolt, said they could have been a beacon of discovery and reconciliation. Instead, they completely squandered a golden opportunity to show everyone what this country is really like in matters of race. They could have made things different for millions of people, and they chose not to. That's unforgivable, Phillips was reported to have said. During the chat, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spoke about their relationship with the royals, racism, and how their mental health suffered while living in the palace. One of the biggest allegations from the interview was that there were several conversations within the royal family about how dark Meghan and Harry's baby might be. Meghan claimed, in those months when I was pregnant, there were concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he was born. Moreover, in a joint statement sent to Insider in June, the Sussexes and Spotify confirmed that Meghan's podcast, Archetypes, would not return for her second season, as the streaming platform and the couple's production company, Archwell Audio, had cut ties. Although the statement said that the decision was mutual, sources cited as familiar with the matter told the Wall Street Journal in June that Meghan's producers were informed the podcast wouldn't be moving forward, despite previous discussions about a possible second season. The Wall Street Journal also cited sources who said that the couple wasn't productive enough to receive the full payout, which was reportedly worth up to $20 million from their deal with Spotify. Insiders spoke to PR and podcast industry experts who say that the couple must stop talking about the royal family and focus on rebuilding their reputation even as Spotify and the podcast industry face major setbacks. Harry and Meghan's Spotify deal seemed promising in the beginning. After signing with the company in December 2020, Harry and Meghan released a 33-minute holiday special featuring high-profile guests including Stacey Abrams, Jose Andreas, Brene Brown, Deepak Chopra, James Corden, Elton John, Naomi Osaka, and Tyler Perry. But Harry's involvement with the project appeared to end there. According to a source cited in June 2023, Reports from Bloomberg, none of Harry's podcast ideas were picked up for the series. The source, who Bloomberg said remained anonymous as they were not authorized to speak about Harry's work, said one such idea was a podcast on childhood trauma, with a plan to interview controversial guests such as Vladimir Putin, Mark Zuckerberg, and Donald Trump. By June 2021, Meghan and Harry hadn't released any new podcast episodes, and outlets like The Sun, The Daily Mail, and Page Six published reports about the lack of Spotify content created by the Sussexes in the six months since the deal began. And according to sources who spoke to Wall Street Journal, Spotify executives felt that the Sussexes' company was taking too long to form a team to produce their podcast projects after signing the deal.